Unfortunately, everyone has to come to a time when they realise they're, they're not a spring chicken anymore. Uh, I'm just turned 36 yesterday. Uh, I've accomplished everything I've wanted to do times 10. I cannot believe how fortunate I've been in the sport and how many countries and how many people and everyone I've met. It's just been the greatest experience ever. Um, but yeah, I'm getting injuries now. They're not healing. And it's just my, my body's telling me that enough's enough. So. I've had 113 fights. My last fight will be 114. There might be a few tears after my fight, but um, I'll, I'll look back as this was the, the greatest chapter of, of my youth. And um, hopefully it's going to open up a lot of doors for me as I get older. Have a look at the stand out here. Like truck it right hand. I don't want to be one of those guys that had 10 fights too many. This is right Park. Superstar! Good catch and sweep from Wayne. Jumped him. And that's the stuff that absolutely uh, really impacts on the scorecards. And it's all over! Wayne Park will take it! Oh, oh, beautifully done from Wayne Park! He is still the number one superstar! 23rd of June is going to be the first time Muay Thai rules in a cage with MMA gloves on is going to be promoted. Uh, it came about from being a, a big fan of UFC. I really like watching the, the cage stuff and I really want to experience the, the rush of what it's like to be locked in there. With Pa getting ready for his last fight before retiring, he looks to best mate and student Flip Street to test out the four ounce gloves in a sparring match a month out from the fight. MMA gloves are fun. I hope you're a freak. <laughs> so unfortunately this morning we had a little bit of a clash the last round with the little gloves on. Copped a, copped a nice little right hand and um, yeah unfortunately she's a, once again she's a, another, another cut, another split. So. I gotta go ring my doctor friend and uh, he's gonna chuck some stitches in me later on. The fight's four weeks out, so usually it takes four to five days for it to stick back together again. It's no big deal, but just, just a pain in the bum. But um, definitely a new experience with those gloves on. Yeah, um, they're, they're the sparring version too, so you can imagine the competition gloves are gonna be a whole lot more hectic. So there's gonna be a lot of blood, a lot of knockouts. Can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. As Australia's most celebrated and well-known fighter prepares for his fight against K1 superstar Jordan Ty from New Zealand, the gunslinger puts 100% focus and commitment into the fight that will be his last. Yes. 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 Rush, 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 rush,
Unwrapping his hands for one of the last times, Parra is left with only days to mentally prepare for the final chapter of his career. Last Tuesday night, I got the shock of my life when I got a phone call in the early hours in the morning saying, you got to come to the gym as fast as you can. Someone shut up your gym. And I just opened my eyes and it's like, what are you talking about? And he's come down here immediately. I've already called the police. They should be here soon. Jumped in the car. Sure enough, got here. Four shotgun blasts from my front window. Okay. okay, here's the gym. There's three shotgun blasts. And then I thought this was a handgun at first, but it's um, actually another shotgun blast that uh, it didn't smash because of the, the, the poster kept the window stuck together. If you ever had any idea of what a shotgun blast could do, um, there's glass all through the gym. Um, my floor is totaled. T-shirts, glass everywhere. All through the desk, all through the shirts again. Um, uh, I guess shotgun glass it goes all the way through here broken glass is a shard up on the wall more so yeah crazy i don't know who did this but you've given me a big job to clean up all this crap so cheers thank you shit i don't really need right now i'd rather be training for my fight and still to this day, don't know who did it, don't know the motivation behind it. It's just so heartbreaking. Since I've had the, the gym, uh, Flip Street has been my, my longest student. He's won two world titles, he's fought in Thailand, he's fought in Hong Kong. He's, uh, he's absolutely amazing. I think the, the hammer from Fox Sports, he's uh, nicknamed him the, the human highlight reel. Because every time he fights, he, he pulls something out of the bag that no one's ever seen before. He, um, he's a great prospect and I hope he can stay on me and have another 50 fights for me because uh, he's got a big future. <laughs> Flip's one of these guys, he, he comes in the gym, he pours his heart and soul into every single session that he has and then he, it really um, shows in his fights all the hard work because he, uh, he, just, he just takes the, the sport to another level every time that he fights. Jordan Ty makes his way to Australia to take on Australia's number one fighter. The two-time K1 Max champion, Ty has had plenty of experience in the ring, but like everyone else on the card, it is his first time in the cage. Paz protege Flip warms up with heavyweight champion Thor in preparation for his fight against the Kiwi, Chris Wells. For some of the undercards, it quickly became evident how different and lethal this sport can become with four ounce gloves. Boone Australia's fighter, Michael Badass Badado, takes on Mark Luciari. Oh, the back of the gloves. Here comes this. Badado. Body, body, elbows, body. And it's the body shot that has hurt here. 
goes straight to the body. Look at the big punches coming in, trying to stop Lukiari, who has cut above the left eye already. His moments are fine. Potato answers back, hands, hands, hands. Here comes the elbows over the top. And Luke Yari asks to bring it on, and Badado responds in kind. Warriors of the Moncons featured fighter Elliot Compton takes to the cage to fight Benaya Duma. Oh, spinning elbow, spinning elbow. Big and accurate shots here. Oh, short elbow, Compton on the inside. Goes to oh. work with the knees. Launching in as well. Oh, big elbows from both. Whoa, oh, down goes Flipper. There's a spinning back fist and a beauty. And only gets caught. Straight down again. That's time number three. Flip straight oh. on a good left hand from the local boy. Calling him on. Calling him on. The Kiwi. Head kick from Flipper. There he is. I really like Jordan's style. I think he's um, great power in both hands. Um, he's a really nice guy. He's a gentleman. He can strike tonight! World champion! Ladies and gentlemen, the Stanford The look in the eyes, it tells a story. It's going to be a very difficult fight, but it's also going to be very exciting and one that people won't forget in a hurry. And Parr gets rocked with a double. Oh, big overhand right again from Jordan Ty. Oh, he's rocked. He certainly is rocked. And Ty is trying to finish John Wayne Parr at the end of the first <laughs> round and spoil the party. But Parr looks at him and says, is that all? Is that it? Catch and counter. I, I didn't want to pick an easy one for my last one. I wanted to make sure he, he was world class. And um, Jordan Ty ticks all the boxes. Ah, looking to even the score and go out a winner. Ty is down. Again, catch and take down. Look at the explosion of hand techniques from both fighters. Oh, big one to Jordan Ty. Head kick Jordan Ty. Shot Shopping. from Parr and Jordan Ty in a world of hurt. Well, the pain will be shooting through the lead thigh of Ty now. Down twice is the Kiwi in round number four. The hands are raised, Parr celebrating. He calls on the Aussie. Jumping, something kick from John Wayne Parr. Ty makes him pay. One Parr last covers. big hurrah for Jordan Ty, who is giving it his all, but standing in oh, front of him, oh. Australian combat royalty. John Damn. Wayne Parr drops Jordan Ty. And that is it. The multi-time world champion, Australia's finest. He ends with his hands in the air, a smile on the face, and with a big win. Well, what a way to go out. What an explosion of technique to finish this one. Just as he, as he has done so many times before.